So I have a student who has um, this classic integration by parts problem on his last quiz, an X squared and an LN of X. So we have a product within the integral. And when you have a product within the integral, you can use integration by parts to solve it. So UV, the integral of U dV is equal to UV minus the integral of V dU. So the challenge of an integration by parts problem, the first, the first hurdle is to choose what your U is going to be. So how do we do that? There's a, a very helpful acronym, LIATE. So this acronym basically helps us. So if this says logarithm, inverse, algebra, trigonometric, and exponential. So whichever one of these you see first as you're going down this acronym, the one that you see first in the integral is the one that you choose as your U or you try as your U first when solving the problem. So logarithmic, ln of x is logarithmic. x squared is algebraic. So logarithmic came first as we went down our acronym LIATE. So we're going to try ln of x as our u. So u equals ln of x. du is going to be the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x. Our, um, so this is u, u dv. dv is equal to x squared dx. So V is the integral of that. So that's going to be X cubed over three. And that's what we need in order to set up this problem. I'm just going to show how to set it up. So our integral of X squared ln of X is equal to UV ln of X um, V which is x cubed over 3, minus the integral of v du. And v is x cubed over 3, and du is 1 over x dx. So we could clean this up and call it x cubed over 3 ln of x minus the integral of 1 third x squared dx. So the whole point of integration by parts is to come up with an integral that's easier than the one you started with. So this is how you set it up. And of course, um, all this is evaluated from, from one to two.